back at the boot sale Wednesday morning. They're all setting up now, so I'm not rushing up. The only thing I've realised now are these sunglasses I'm using is when it's not sunny, you look a bit silly. So I'm actually going to get some of the ones with the transition lenses. Uh, hope you all have a good day if you're out looking. Hope you enjoyed the video and let's go see what we can get. How much are your figures? 20 quid each. Yeah. Cool. Super 7. That one still works as well, dirty dirty. Wind him up and it'll work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I need him, but he's pretty cool, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's collectible actually. Yeah, they are stuff, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> dirty dirty. Don't suppose they sold that one in Toys R Us. Would you do a deal if I bought all three? Yeah, uh, what did we say? 20, so it's 50 for the free. Which do 45? Yeah, go on in, mate, yeah. Yeah? Alright, lovely. How much is that? How much is that out of interest? Just because I've never seen it. That's the same. 20 oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that bored about that. <laughs> it's cool though, I'm sure someone will have it. It's worth more than they are, actually. Is he? Yeah. I never in, uh, let me search it, I'm going to look. Dirty, dirty, why am I searching this? <laughs> There goes 45 then. Love Cheers, you. thanks very Cheers, much, man. Very cool. Thank you. Have you got the have you got the other bit for that? Or is it just the one? No, it's just what's there, mate. That's cool. No worries, thank you. <laughs> You're right, man. Are you good? How much are you? Can 25 each. 25 each. Oh, come on! Thank you. for the last 20 years, so it's all vintage. Yeah. How much are your cards? 15. 15? Yeah. I'm not I've just been told they're 15. How much is your Xbox? The Xbox, I don't know if it's working, to tell you the truth. So I'll sell it for 15 for it. Has it got controllers? It's got, it hasn't got no controllers, it's got okay. all, the, all the leads, but no okay. controllers. Alright, no worries, thank but you. I'm sure you can pick up controllers. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my car quick because I picked up them as you saw, and I don't want them getting damaged. And I picked up a load of games and a Lego set from the normal house clearance guy. Should I just give you three pounds on? Yeah. Cool, oh, thank you. Cheers. cheers. Yeah, so as you can see, these are some of the games I didn't buy. Just conditions and that are a bit. But to be fair, the actual games were fine. There are some GTAs I left because they're uh, wet, damp. PS2s. 
No cables or controllers, otherwise I'd have it off him. So he's got more games down there, more in there, everywhere. Found that in there, which was a good game. It's a bit stuck together. Oh, this one. Just look though. Boom, it's actually nice, a good game to look out for. Very cool game. Yep, that's fine. I'll have that one. I don't think there's anything else much in here. Some calibre. Sneak down, shut your mouth. Nothing else for me. Take this off. I'll take that one for two quid then. Yeah, nothing else there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How much are you, little? All the pressures are three pound each. Okay. What about your Lego set? Yeah, they're before me, but I grew up on boot sales, so I always had all, I used to have all the 80s Transformer toys and that. They're cool. Is these the only games you got? Just them three. Would you take two on that one? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. It's a cool Lego set, isn't it? Yeah, that is actually. That that's as well. That's nice. Cool. That's two pound. Cool. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Oh, so oh, did you say no? You wouldn't take two. But oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Cool, thank you thank Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Ooh, my bad. Right, we're back from the boot sale. This was a Wednesday morning. I didn't get crazy amounts of stuff, but the quality was definitely there. There's some funny bits. Uh, there was a pickup, which I'll show you first, which I didn't show on camera, where I'm using my glass. I've actually ordered, I'm getting some new ones with the transitioning lenses, because obviously wearing sunglasses at six in the morning, when it's starting to get a bit darker. I look like a blind person and Basically, I'm a blind person because you can't really see nothing. So uh, I couldn't really film annoyingly for like the first 20 minutes or so. But I'll show you the PS1 games I got from him. Got some pretty good titles. There's one that's a bit of a fail. So I picked up this bundle. And I think I had to pay like maybe 45 for them, which is more than I'd want to spend. But Hogs of War is a good game. And the condition of the case is good enough that I can trade it in. I don't think I've actually got this, but I want to get the version of it where it's not um, the best off. Uh, I think that trades in for 21. I've got Dune, which is an interesting one. The one that's a fail, for me at least, was this one. is a uh, Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Because I don't have that game, and that's like a 20, 20, 20 to 25 pound game. So it's got the, not the manual, but the, it's got the disc. The actual box is annoyingly Soul Blade, which is strange. I picked up this Spider-Man, because I know Spider-Man, obviously Spider-Man, and it always does well. Um... It's got his disc. I don't really understand what's going on with this one because it's in a. This must be. I think it's um. It's got a platinum disc in it. It's PAL, but it's a skinny case with the G8, which I believe is that. I think that's Australian, but it is PAL, so it should work. Um. So that's gonna have to be an eBay one, I guess. But this is a little bit of a fail. Gauntlet Legends. I just couldn't remember if I had it or not. Got GTA London with a shattered case, so I need to swap that out. A normal GTA with a fine case. So and then picked up. Small Soldiers complete with the manual, which is a great game to be fair. I, I love Small Soldiers. Uh, I've actually got this guy right here. And up there I've actually got all of the original toys bar two. But I did get a better deal from him later on. So after looking through them, annoyingly I missed out on a few. So I paid £2 for this 6 billion season 5, so random. I don't know if the other ones are as good. But this is the one I picked up and this trades in for, oh, it's all there. This trades in for 15 I believe it is. Um, but I saw a guy with two others, I think two or three others of these, which is really annoying because obviously I could have sold them all there. I'm assuming they've all got good value, but here's what it is. So I paid two for that. I put one of these, I think, so I think like they're a bit water damage actually, some of these to be fair. The insides, the insides are actually perfect though, it's just the outside, but so I think that trades in for like three or something. Got Manhunt, got Alien Hominid, which I couldn't remember if I had and I do have it, it's actually in here. Um, with complete with manual, that trades in for a few quid. One. So this one's got a really bad front cover to be fair. It's all in there, but it's all a bit water damaged. Uh, but the insides, again, look, look at the insides, they're perfect. It's just the outside. I paid about 10 for them because he wanted, um, I collected the Lego, you can't see him, but up there I've got like 
these the Lego Speed Champions, and I picked this up from him as well. So I've it's a sealed set. This was twenty pound, which seems like a lot, but I paid more than that just to get it loose. I think I paid twenty five thirty just for the set. So I paid thirty for all them bits. But later on, as you did, I did get this on video. The probably the best game out of all this lot, ironically, and I paid a pound for this one because he let me have it because he didn't do me a deal on any of the other stuff or like I couldn't haggle with him. Um, I saw the paper, like the front cover for this game, just sat in there, and I saw a case with no game, um, no sleeves. I was like, oh, open it, no manual, but it is Auto Modelista. This is a very good game to look out for. I've got this already complete with manual, but this is a great game. It's like a I'll try and put up some footage of the gameplay actually here um, right now while I'm talking over the top of this. It's a super cool looking racing game with like, it's almost like um, animated, like, like illustrated, it's super cool. And I'm pretty sure, I didn't realize, I knew this game, was, I thought it was worth like 10 pound trading. Pretty sure when I checked, I'll put that on the screen as well. I'm pretty sure this game now is a good 20, 20 pound plus trade in a CX. So that actually kind of made it all worthwhile then because I'm pretty much gonna get my money back on them few bits there making all the bits for me free so that's perfect picked up this game because i don't think i've got this in my ps3 collection and i just think this is a cool i like that film it's all complete with a manual nice shape uh, it's quite weird uh, the guy i watched the footage back and the guy um i offered it he's wanted three pound for this that's what i paid in the end but he offered um i offered him two and i i thought he said yes because he went like that he was also saying he was like it's got to be free but he said yes so I'm hoping people can see my confusion because I actually handed him two pound and then he asked for three and I was like, oh, and then it's fine. I mean, it's a pound. I'm going to give it to him, but they just found that interesting. Got a really dirty Wii remote for free from a, a subscriber and a really nice guy that I bump into in my travels. So hello, mate. Thanks for watching. Um, it actually does work. I didn't think it was going to work. So I feel for it was, but it's not got actually got any corrosion. It is just dirt. So I'm going to clean that up and give it a wipe over and I'll put a back on it. I've got some backs in my drawer. And trade that in and that's like nine pound or saying so i really appreciate that mate thank you very much i can't remember if i got this on film maybe i did uh this is i don't this is dead end from the alternators series it's about 20 years old now uh yeah 2004 i think this is um paid three pound for that it's just missing he's like there's like an engine block that turns into a gun which you would open up the hood but it turns into a dodge viper so i'm actually funnily enough i'm gonna keep this for myself um, I'm going to transform it back because, to be honest, I don't think the robots are very good like, compared to the modern ones. But um, I'm going to transform it back, put it in Dodge 5 mode, and I'm just going to keep it. And I'm, if I can find the engine block, then I'll have it complete. So my favourite deal of the day, though, was, strangely, I saw on Josh Clickright. Um, so shout out to you, mate. He is killing it at the moment, if you haven't seen it on Instagram. Everywhere. TikTok, he's blown up. He's, I think he's just hit 100k when I'm filming this. So be interesting to see by the time this comes out what you're on, mate. I saw in his video the other week that there was some sealed uh he-man figures and he didn't buy them or didn't even ask and i was just curious and i assumed they'd be gone by now so this is two weeks later i've gone to i go to the same boot sale as him and uh i got these three figures um so i picked up these two which are on, like they're, they're all sealed unpunched but they're by super seven with 2019 so they're oh, 2018 2019 so they've got a little bit of age now but they're obviously not the vintage ones but as you can see they're unpunched and they're in really nice shape. The only one uh, I actually annoyingly dropped like this. So one corner, this is dented in one corner. But it was already dented in one corner, so it's fine. But yeah, I got them too. But then there's sold listings of this guy alone. So Hero. Um, I just think, like, how cool is that? Like, I know like you can see that it's a Super 7 and then the top corner. But, like, that's just so cool. It's just a, a modern remake of characters, I guess, that maybe wasn't made. I'm assuming. I need to research it. So it works out, I've got 15 invested in each of these, I guess, or how I've got 20 in this one, 10 in them, whatever, however you want to look at it. That's everything i got today. It's really nice to see everyone out on the field, like Josh, and I've got a few other mates I see weekly, so good to see you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care.